everybody. Today I have a little speed painting of some magnolia blossoms. So for this painting, I am primarily going to be using my, my Jello Mission Gold paints. I absolutely love this set. It's my all-time favorite watercolor brand. So, and I just got a couple new colors from them. I got Brilliant Pink and Permanent Magenta, and those actually were the perfect colors to paint magnolia flowers. So I thought it would be a good painting to test out those new colors and uh, see what they're capable of. I am starting this painting off by focusing on the branch and stem portions of the flowers. So I'm just going to go ahead and fill those in and then I will explain to you my techniques for painting the blossoms. So for the first layer of these flowers, I am going to be using the wet and wet watercolor technique. So I'm just taking plain clear water and painting over all of the petal areas on the very top flower. And then what I'm going to do is take a little bit of the brilliant pink color on my brush and just dot it into that water at the base of the flower and let it flow upwards. When you look at magnolia flowers, their color is really concentrated towards the bottom of the flower. And then as you move more towards the tips of the petals, they are fairly white. So I want to keep a lot of the color focused down lower on the flowers. I'm going to repeat the process that I just explained for each of these flowers, and then I will move on to explaining the next step in this painting process. So now we're ready to add in some finer details. So I'm taking some permanent magenta on my brush in kind of a, a medium value wash, and I'm just going to add some of the little lines and veins that you see on magnolia flowers that come up from the bottom part. And then after those details are in place, I will go back in with a clean, damp brush and I'm just going to soften the edges around those lines so that they don't appear to be too harsh. So once that medium value wash is close to dry, I'm just going to pick up a little more pigmented amount of permanent magenta onto my brush 
and I will go back into that flower and just intensify the color at the base of it. I'm going to repeat this same process over each flower with the medium value wash and then adding in some darker, more pigmented details. My next step in this painting is to go in with a very light wash of gray on a detail brush and just add in a few little shadows towards the tips of these petals. For the finishing touches, I'm just adding a few intense pops of that permanent magenta. Thank you guys for watching today. Be sure to subscribe while you're here and I will see you again soon.